Hello, this is Mark from Mirror Athlete. Um, out on another walk in a different location. This time I decided to, to do something totally different and um, chose a way out location to do a little bit of walking. And um, that's right down here. What used to be known as uh, Castle Air Force Base is now decommissioned and uh, pretty barren out here. There's just uh, civilian um, operations. Basically, it looks like the government's leased out the property. So, I'm on a walk, and um, like a lot of my videos, I always try to do something a little bit different in terms of walking, getting out to a different location, and um, you know, just showing you something a little different in terms of scenery and different types of terrain where you could, uh, you know, check out different viewings. But uh, this is the old old base, Castle Air Force Base. Some of you probably did, did your active duty here. You know, while I'm out walking, I might as well just show you. This was the 93rd AMS, Aviation's Maintenance Systems Squadron. And uh, basically a shell of a skeleton. The uh, airstrip's right out there. And they've got some civilian operations going on. And these were all part of the uh, flight line support buildings. And uh, let's swing right around this way. We're down in uh, Merced, California, or Atwer Atwater, California. It's another small town. And there's the, um, the wing, the 93rd wing, uh, when it was commissioned. So anyway, uh, just doing a little bit of road walking. Uh, showing you a little bit of what I'm doing in terms of walking technique. I'm in a different train, of course. Um, <clears throat> I think the two things I wanted to focus on were um, shoe support, insole support. I wrote an article about uh, walking is the best cardiovascular fitness exercise one can do if you're uh, in good enough of health to do it. And also in terms of um, a little bit of pain management. The only thing I can tell you about pain management is de dependent upon what your duration is going to be and the intensity of how you're going to walk. Everybody's going to have to figure out their own pain management program. I wrote a chapter specifically dedicated to pain management, those with chronic pain and things of that sort. Uh, you can find excerpts of my manuscript Mirror Athlete in Pain at the website mirrorathlete.com, M I R R O R A T H L E T E dot com. <clears throat> Go to the uh, Chronicles, just look at the, uh, the home page, and right there you'll see a little picture of me, and it'll say click on this link to go in the Chronicles. And I've got basically two manuscripts written at this point, one dealing with fitness management for those with pain and how to live well with pain and uh, looking to write the proposals uh, to submit to a literary agent here soon or editor. So uh, you can go in and look at some of those excerpts and uh, hopefully look forward to the two books that will come out once I get those commissioned. Uh, Hopefully that'll go well. I think there's a lot of good material in those manuscripts and don't see why a book uh, would not result of it. So eventually, uh, and hopefully soon, we'll have the first manuscript in near the end of the year, Quality Living with Pain. And, um, and then we just get started there and then we, we move into the second book, dealing with fitness specifically for those with pain. Okay, so in terms of pain management, I'll tell you for me, I won't give you specifically what I do, but gen generally what I do is um, because of the, my types of pain that I'm dealing with and how I've got to manage that is like a walk like today, um, my pain management for the day dealt with uh, anti-inflammatory, um, some um, pain medication, and muscle relaxant. And the thing that, um, and I can't tell you what that is because I don't want you going out and following my program because it's another chapter I wrote about is that 
everybody in terms of their fitness levels and how you apply it to your quality of living, including uh, pharmacological or uh, pharmacy use um, prescription meds and things of that sort, you need to work with your physician and, and uh, figure that one out. And I tell you how to do that in the book as well. <clears throat> but those are the three items and they help get me through uh, you know, a little bit further distance, but at the same time being aware of, being aware of um, you know, pain sensitivities. And I teach you how to do that as well in the book. So there's a lot of good stuff in the book. If you don't know anything about the mirror athlete with chronic pain or pain, then again, visit the website and take a look at the excerpts I'm writing and start checking it out. There's going to be something there for everybody that, has, that suffers with pain and it doesn't matter what type of illness or disease uh, you have. It teaches you how to deal with that kind of thing healthy. Um, the other one was feet. Okay. See, the, the shoes that I'm wearing really suck. <laughs> That's the best way to describe them right now and I need to change them out. And the terrain I'm on is a uh, hardened concrete. It's all part of the, the flight line. And you'll notice that there's some asphalt surfaces. So uh, two things um, to note is in my shoe, um, I swap around a VA custom orthotic and um, also a uh, posture control insole, um, which you can also find at my website. I don't manufacture these things, but I just find good stuff and put it on the website. Uh, and look for the skeleton or the uh, foot and read up on the control insole um, for your feet. Uh, in my shoes right now, I have the uh, um, veterans customized insoles um, that I'm choosing to wear today because they really curtail uh, uh, what it is uh, the dynamics of my feet and what I need to do today and the types of surfaces on, that I'm on. Not that the uh, control insoles are not as good, it's just a different type of insole for me that I choose to use with different applications. So um, I would, if you're going to take on a walking program and you're in pain already and you need to pain manage and condition yourself through walking, I highly recommend um, you taking a look at the control insole, posture um, <clears throat> inserts for your shoes that can be found on my website. Now, the other thing about walking this terrain, you notice on most roads that the road is, well, not specifically on this one. This one's kind of beat because it is an old tarmac. But in most roads, you get a, you get a, like a little bit of a slant to the right, angling to the right, and one to the left. And the reason for that is drainage. But my point is, is that when you're walking, okay, you need to change it up every once in a while because you're taking more of that angle on your ankle and it works you all the way up. You know, to take you slightly out of posture when you're working, just be aware of it. And then every once in a while, when you're walking on this street or asphalt surface, your embankment now is coming this way, so you relieve the angle direction or gravity and resistance of body weight uh, down at those pivot points in your ankle and you can kind of change it up a bit so it's not so hard on your postural skeletal system a lot of people don't know that or think about it okay but anyway um, just wanted to let you know what I was doing today uh, just walking in a different area down in the uh, Castle Air Force Base uh, Merced area Central California it's rather hot notice I've got a drinking camel bag on my self here so I don't dehydrate and they work out pretty good when you're walking as well so <clears throat> if you can take a cell phone you know take a water bag um, <clears throat> and have some good shoes which I need to change mine over and have some insole support to, to lean out your posture a little bit so there's not too much resistance and not too hard on your body well folks I gotta go uh, this is Mark from Mira Athlete and uh, wishing you well and get out and do something a little bit different for your fitness walk for the day. Go someplace different, change it up. Have a great day. Bye.